Hi guys, welcome back to the IF and Dhaba. I am Seema. Today, since I have spoiled milk, I am going to be making paneer out of it. So this is homemade paneer, which I am going to use as bhurji. You can call it as a bhurji scramble or a paneer bhurji or a cottage cheese scramble, whatever you want. But it is most tasty and most delicious and most quick. So to know that, keep watching. So to make the paneer bhurji, the ingredients that we require are this is a bowl of homemade paneer, one bowl of tomatoes, that's about two, two and a half tomatoes, one and a half diced onion, one bowl of peas, about one and a half teaspoon of uh, green chilies chopped, two tablespoons of garlic ginger paste, one teaspoon salt as per taste, a little bit of turmeric powder, haldi, one teaspoon chili powder, coriander leaves and two tablespoons of oil. Okay, so to make the paneer bhurji, we'll first start with the oil. So here goes in the oil. Waiting for the oil to get heated, we add in the garlic ginger paste. Yeah, so now the garlic ginger has turned to a nice color and now I'm going to add in the onions. Now these onions have to be just a little soft. You don't have to bring it to a pale pink or a brown color. They generally have to be just soft because we're just assembling the whole thing together. There's nothing as cooking cooking in this. So now since the garlic ginger and the onions have blended together, I'm going to add in the tomatoes. I add in the salt. I add in the chilli powder and the haldi powder together. I stir it. You can see the onions are visible and the tomatoes are visible. So it's not a choppy or a very pasty pasty kind of a thing. I add in a little green chilies as well. I add in some coriander for the flavor. I add in the peas. The only cooking time one requires is this, is when you're doing the peas. They have to get done and it will soft. It takes just about two minutes to two, three minutes. Because again, we don't want the peas very mishy mashy. We want them quite green and standing out. I've added the peas and now I'm just going to add a little water, just about half a bowl because there are already tomatoes inside and I'm just adding a little water so that the peas get cooked and the peas will also take about three to four minutes. We won't, we don't want them overcooked. So now I'm just going to shut the lid for about three to four minutes and then after that we will add the paneer. Okay, now we'll just see whether the peas are done. They don't, they're not mishy mashy, they're standing out. And after this whole thing is done, after adding the paneer and green peas, you can even chop a little bit of capsicum finely and add to it and just shut the gas because that gives a nice crunch to the paneer bhurji. So these are the options and variations, whatever you like, you can take it. So now we'll just add the paneer. We'll add the little green chilies. And we'll add the coriander. Garnishing. Give it a quick stir. And our paneer purji is ready. So our paneer purji is ready. Best eaten with naan or roti. If you like this recipe, subscribe to India Food Network. Any queries or comments, write in. Thank you.